quick learning from yesterday, buddy. like crystal and shannon don't it this is something new and uh, quite scary so there's always a possibility of being struck at this he's not going to strike at me most likely but there's always that possibility he could strike at this probably won't but if i'm going to stand in a position i want to make sure i'm either far enough away where he hits the blanket or he can't strike at me. I'm just going to let him smell this for a while. Have it come up and play with his head. Very important, you always train both sides. I probably have already. Right. That's why you get on and off on both sides. You put your saddle on both sides. Some horses are very scared on one side, could care less on the other. Obviously, he's more scared on the other side than he is on this which are all really good things to know. Because when I get on him, I'm gonna know which side is easier or harder to train. Which side he's gonna take a lead to, which side's gonna be harder to get him to take a lead to. What side he's gonna to give to, what side he's gonna fight more on. Another big thing, especially when you're starting your young horses, whether they're domestic or uh, Mustangs, they'll have a certain amount of fear. And if you're new, uh, this is something I've had to teach my wife, if you're new, you'll react in fear to their fear, which all that does is escalate more fear. If he'll, when he's scared and jumps away from me, like when I walk up to him and he gets jumpy like that, I just keep coming. I don't let him be scared. If he wants to be scared, it's fine, but I'm not going to back away. Now, I'm not going to be over aggressive where he feels like he's yeah. being attacked, but I'm not going to just, every time he jumps, I jump back. Mm -hmm. Because when you jump from his jumping, you both get jumpy. Uh -huh. And it just causes a mess. Yeah. So, 